I'm Larry Everett, and I work for the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation, Division of Water Resources in the Knoxville Field Office. Uh, today we're doing uh, just a watershed survey, uh, aquatic macroinvertebrate benthic sampling of the bugs and crustaceans and things like that that uh, will help us to determine how the general water quality is in this stream. Macromia margarita is the genus species. Uh, it's in the family Macromiidae, and it um, is overall pretty dark black species along with most of the other ones of that genus. Their eyes are emerald green pretty much. You can see them coming and you can recognize them from that. So they're kind of a, a speedy black thing with a yellow spot or two on them and that's kind of how you recognize them. Their flight pattern too. They don't stop and sit around much. They're an, a pretty ancient group of insects. You know, they're among some of the oldest insects uh, around. Uh, they date back before the dinosaurs. Um, at times there were species with two foot wingspans, giant insects. Uh, the diversity is pretty interesting and they are important uh, indicators of water quality. They're also important for um, removal of mosquitoes and other things. You know, if you're in an area where there's mosquitoes, well, bats, dragonflies, and, and some other insects. Uh, tend to really help maintain, you know, a balance. Well, in my work, I've seen uh, things that have impacted large rivers for a hundred years and, and gradually we might be, because of Clean Water Act and, and state water quality rules, we might be able to uh, correct those problems and even restore uh, those systems to some degree, if not, you know, completely. Uh, there's a lot of things go on and we don't recognize it unless we're paying attention and, and researching it. Uh, and so that's kind of a simple answer towards it. Uh, I think the environment, it supports us all uh, and we need to take care of it. Uh, and it's, it's not just ours, it's, it needs to be passed along in a better condition than we got it to, to our future generations. Well, I grew up uh, loving to be around the water I fished uh, a whole lot when I was a kid growing up. Uh, I grew up in Louisiana and moved here when I was a teenager. And I've just always enjoyed being near water and outside. It kind of brings me peace. And, uh, and I became very interested in learning um, as much as I can uh, about aquatic environments and other environments around me. Uh, and I like having that connection and, and knowing more.